Can you simplify e to the lun of e to the lun of e to the lun of e to the lun e to the lun e to the lun e to the lun of e to the noin? Let's take a look, boy. Now this is not a tetration. However, it is some sort of power tower, which means I can't do e to the lun without doing e to the lun without doing e to the lun without doing all of this until we end up over here. So we need to simplify this bit over here. So even though we usually do maths from left to right, I can't compute the left to the right until I start with the right. So let's uh, address this bit. But first, let's establish the connection between e to the x and ln x. Now ln is just a logarithm. It's actually a posh way of saying log base e of x. They are inverse functions of each other. Logs are inverses of exponentials. They look like this on the same axes, e to the x, exponential growth, and ln x is a reflection of e to the x in the line y equals x. So the ln graph looks like this, and it crosses the x-axis at 1, and the e to the x graph crosses the y-axis at 1. Since they are inverses of each other, they cancel each other out. Just in the same way as rooting the x squared graph just gives you eggs. So all that means is ln cancels e, we're left with 9, and that attaches to the power of e Lun cancels e, we're left with 9. Lun cancels e, lun cancels e, lun cancels e, lun cancels e, lun cancels e. And we are left with e to the power of 9. Nice.